Hi everyone. In this class, we're going to learn several Arabic phrases. I'm going to say the phrase and I want you to repeat it after me. Ahlan wa sahlan. Ahlan wa sahlan. Ahlan wa sahlan means welcome. If somebody says Ahlan wa sahlan to you, you can reply by saying Ahlan bika. Ahlan bika, if you're talking to a male. If you're talking to a female, you'll say Ahlan biki. Ahlan biki. Let's try it. I'll give you the greeting and you'll reply with Ahlan biki because you're talking to a female. Ahlan wa sahlan. Ahlan wa sahlan. Remember, ahlan wa sahlan means welcome. Our next phrase is marhaba. Marhaba. Marhaba means hello. Marhaba. If somebody says marhaba to you, you can reply by saying marhabtain. Marhabtain. Marhabtain means two marhabas. There's a tradition in the Arab world. Anytime somebody gives you a greeting, you always give a greeting that's better than the one that you received. So if somebody says marhaba to you, you reply by saying marhabtain. Our next phrase is used by Muslims around the world in any country. Listen and repeat after me. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum means peace be upon you. Assalamu alaikum. Now you try it. Assalamu alaikum. Once again. Assalamu alaikum. If somebody says assalamu alaikum to you, you'll reply by saying wa alaikum assalam. Wa alaikum assalam. Now you try it. Wa alaikum assalam. Once again, wa alaikum assalam. Wa alaikum assalam means and upon you peace. It's the reply to assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum means peace be upon you. If you want to ask someone how are you, you'll say kaifa haluka. Kaifa haluka. You say kaifa haluka to a male. If you're talking to a female, you'll say kaifa haluki. Kaifa haluki. Let's try them. I'm going to say it. I want you to repeat it after me. Kaifa haluka. Once again, kaifa haluka. Or to a female, kaifa haluki. Kaifa haluki. Kaifa haluka or kaifa haluki both mean, how are you? To reply to the phrase kaifa haluka or kaifa haluki, you can say bikhair alhamdulillah. Bikhair alhamdulillah. Bikhair means fine, and alhamdulillah means praise to God. Bikhair alhamdulillah. I'm going to ask you how you are. And you're going to reply by saying, Bekhair alhamdulillah. Are you ready? Let's try it. Kaifa haluka. Kaifa haluki. Remember, if you're male, you'll reply to Kaifa haluka. But if you're a female, you'll reply when I say Kaifa haluki. Let's try it again. 
Kefa Haluka. Bechir, Alhamdulillah. Kefa Haluki. Bechir, Alhamdulillah. If you want to ask someone what your name is, you'll say, Ma Ismuka. Ma Ismuka. If you're talking to a male. If you're talking to a female, you'll say, Ma Ismuki. Ma Ismuki. Ma Ismuka or Ma Ismuki mean, What's your name? If somebody asks you, Ma Ismuka or Ma Ismuki, You'll reply by saying ismi and your name. For example, if somebody asks me ma ismuki, I'll reply by saying ismi Laura. Ismi Laura. Now I'll ask you what your name is. Ma ismuka. Ma ismuki. After you've asked someone their name, it's nice to say, I'm pleased to meet you. You say that with Tasharafna. Tasharafna. Tasharafna means I'm pleased to meet you or I'm honored to meet you. If somebody says Tasharafna to you, you'll reply by saying Tasharafna Bika if you're talking to a male or Tasharafna Biki. If you're talking to a female, let's try that. Tasharafna bika. Repeat after me. Tasharafna bika. Tasharafna biki. Tasharafna biki. If you're at the end of your meeting, you'll say, Ila alaka. Ila alaka. Try it. Ila alaka. Ila alaka. Ila alaka means until our next meeting. Ila alaka. The way we say thank you in Arabic is to say shukran. Shukran. Shukran means thank you. Shukran. Shukran. If somebody says shukran to you, you'll reply by saying afwan. Afwan. Afwan means you're welcome. Afwan. I'm going to say shukran to you and you'll give me the correct reply. Shukran. Afwan. If you want to say I don't understand, You'll say, Ana la efham. Ana la efham. I don't understand. Ana la efham. Now you try it. Ana la efham. Ana la efham. I don't understand. If you want to ask somebody if they speak English, you'll say to a male, Hal tetikellum eloha el inglesia. Hal tetikellum eloha el inglesia. Do you speak the English language? To a female, you'll say, Hal tetikellamina eloha el inglesia. Hal tetikellamina eloha el inglesia. Hal tetikellum eloha el inglesia or hal tetikellumina eloha el inglesia both mean do you speak English? We say hal tetikellum eloha el inglesia to a male and hal tetikellumina eloha el inglesia to a female. The word for yes in Arabic is naam. Naam. Naam means yes. Naam. Now you try it. Naam. Naam. If you want to say no in Arabic, you'll say la. 
la. La means no. Nam means yes, and la means no. If you want to say, I speak the Arabic language, you'll say, Ana etikelem el loga el arabia. Ana etikelem el loga el arabia. Ana etikelem el loga el arabia means, I speak the Arabic language. Now you try it. I'll say it first and repeat it after me. Ana etikelem el loga el arabia. Once again, Ana etikelem el loga el arabia. I speak the Arabic language. If you want to say good morning to someone, you'll say sabah al khair. Sabah al khair. Sabah means morning. Khair means good. Sabah al khair means good morning. If somebody says sabah al khair to you, you can reply by saying sabah al nur. Sabah al nur. Sabah al nur means morning of light. And it's a little bit better than saying sabah al khair. Let's try it. I'm going to say good morning to you in Arabic and you'll reply. Sabah al khair. Reply with sabah al nur. Once again, sabah al khair. Reply with sabah al nur. If it's evening, you'll say masa al khair. Good evening. Masa al khair. It's also used for good afternoon. Masa al khair. If somebody says masa al khair to you, you can reply by saying masa an nur. Masa an nur. Let's try it. I'm going to say good evening to you, and you'll reply. Masa al khair. Reply with masa an nur. Masa al khair, masa al nur. If you're going to sleep, you'll say to a male, tisba al khair, tisba al khair. Tisba al khair means good night, like you're going to sleep. To a female, you'll say, tisba hina al khair, tisba hina al khair. Tispa al khair to a male or tispa hina al khair to a female. The way we say please in Arabic is min fadlika. Min fadlika. We say min fadlika to a male. To a female, we'll say min fadliki. Min fadliki. Min fadlika. Min fadliki. Please. Now you try it. I'm going to say it first and repeat it after me. Min fadlika. Min fadliki. If you want to say, I am from America, you'll say, Ana min Amrika. Ana min Amrika. Ana min Amrika means. I am from America. Ana min Amrika. Now you try it. Ana min Amrika. Again. Ana min Amrika. If you want to ask someone, where are you from? And you're talking to a male, you'll say, min aina enta. Min aina enta. To a female, you'll change it just a little bit and you'll say, Min aina enti. Min aina enti. I'm going to try to ask you, Where are you from? And you're going to tell me you're from America. Let's try it. Min aina enta. Ana min amrika. Min aina enti. Ana min amrika. So the reply stays the same because you're talking about yourself. You use Anna.
Anna means I. If you want to ask someone, where do you live? And you're talking to a male, you'll say, Aina Teskun, Aina Teskun. If you want to ask a female, where do you live? You'll say, Aina Teskunina, Aina Teskunina. I'm going to say it. I want you to, to repeat it after me. Aina Teskun. Aina Teskun. To a female, Aina Teskunina. Aina Teskunina. A word that's used frequently throughout the Arab world is Insha'Allah. Insha'Allah. Insha'Allah means God willing. Insha'Allah. Insha'Allah is used any time that you want to say that you're going to do something. For example, I'm going to go outside and start my car. Insha'Allah. Insha'Allah. Or, I'm going to the theater this weekend. Insha'Allah. Insha'Allah. Insha'Allah means God willing. Our next question is Kam Omruka. Kam Omruka. Or for a female, Kam Omruki. Kam Omruki. Kam Omruka when you're talking to a male, and Kam Omruki when you're talking to a female. Kam Omruka or Kam Omruki mean how old are you? How old are you? Kam Omruka for a male. Kam omruki for a female. If you want to say goodbye in Arabic, you'll say ma salama. Ma salama. Ma salama means goodbye. If somebody says ma salama to you, you can reply by saying ma salama, or you could say ila alqa. Ila alqa. Do you remember what ila alqa means? Yes, it means until our next meeting. Ila alaka. Ahlan bika or ahlan biki. Do you remember when you need to use ahlan bika or ahlan biki? Ahlan bika is used when you're talking to a male. Ahlan biki when you're talking to a female. And it's the reply for ahlan wasahlan. Ahlan was sahlan. Marhabtain. When do you use marhabtain? Remember, marhabtain means two hellos. So it's used as the reply for marhaba. Marhaba, marhabtain. The good evening reply is. Masa'anur. Masa'anur. We say Masa'anur when somebody tells us Masa'al Khair. So I'll say Masa'al Khair to you, and you reply by saying Masa'anur. Masa'anur. And finally, our reply for good morning Sabahanur. Sabahanur. You're going to use sabah nur when somebody says sabah al khair to you. Sabah al khair, sabah nur. Okay, now we're going to go on to our conversations. I'll just quickly go over these and you can practice these at home with a friend. Our conversation one is student A and student B. Student A begins by saying, Ahlan was sahlan. Ahlan was sahlan. Ahlan was sahlan means welcome. Student B replies by saying Ahlan bika if they're talking to a male or Ahlan biki if they're talking to a female. Student A asks Kaifa haluka, how are you? If they're talking to a male, if they're talking to a female, they'll say Kefa haluki. 
Student B replies, Bakhir, Alhamdulillah. Wa anta? Bakhir means fine. Alhamdulillah, praise to God. And wa anta means, and you? If we're talking to a female, we'll say exactly the same thing, but instead of saying wa anta, you'll say wa anti. Wa anti. Student A replies by saying, Ana bakhir shukran, ma ismuka. If they're talking to a male, or if they're talking to a female, they'll say, ma ismuki. Ma ismuki. What is your name? Student B replies by saying, ismi and their name. And then asks student A about their name. Wa ma ismuka enta. If they're talking to a male, or if they're talking to a female, wa ma ismuki enti. Wa ma ismuki enti. Student B says, Tasharafna. Tasharafna bika, or Tasharafna biki. Ila elika, until our next meeting. Ma salama. Ma salama, goodbye. Now you try it with a friend. Okay, now we'll go on to dialogue two. In conversation two, it begins with student A who says, Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum means peace be upon you. Student B replies by saying, Wa alaikum assalam. Wa alaikum assalam. And upon you, peace. Student A says, Kefa haluka. How are you? If they're talking to a male. Or, Kefa haluki. How are you? If they're talking to a female. Student B will reply by saying, Mumtaz, alhamdulillah. Mumtaz means excellent. If a female is talking, she'll say, Mumtaza. Mumtaza. Mumtaz for a male or Mumtaza for a female. And here you're referring to yourself. So if a, a male is talking, he'll say Mumtaz, Alhamdulillah. If a female's talking, she'll say Mumtaza, Alhamdulillah. Wa kefa haluka enta, and how are you? Or to a female, wa kefa haluki enti. Student A will reply by saying, Kwais, alhamdulillah. Kwais is another way of saying good. Kwais. A female will say, Kwaisa, alhamdulillah. Kwaisa, alhamdulillah. Student B asks student A for their name. Ma ismuka, if they're talking to a male, or ma ismuki, if they're talking to a female. Student A answers by saying ismi and their name. Wa ma ismuka enta if they're talking to a male or wa ma ismuki enti if they're talking to a female. Student B replies by saying ismi and their name. Tasharafna, I'm honored to meet you. Student A replies by saying Tasharafna bika or Tasharafna biki. I'm honored to meet you as well. Ila alaka. Ila alaka until our next meeting. And finally, ma'assalama. Ma'assalama. Ma'assalama means goodbye. Practice both dialogues and try to memorize them as best you can. Okay, now we'll go on to a game. It's down here. You just have to click on the link. It's a good way to test yourself to make sure that you know what each of these phrases mean.
takes a minute or so to load. So just be patient. And then click on play game. You'll have the Arabic words on one side and the English meaning on the other. Let's do a quick run through. Hello. How do we say hello in Arabic? Marhaba. Good night. How do we say good night in Arabic? Tisba al khair. Tisba al khair. Fine. Praise to God. Bekhir, alhamdulillah. Where do you live? Aina Teskun. How are you? Kaifa Haluka. Good morning. Sabahu Khir. You're welcome. Afwan. How old are you? Kam Omruka. Welcome to you. Ahlan Bika. What's your name? Ma Ismuka. I speak Arabic. Ana etikellam aloha el Arabia. No. La. God willing. Inshallah. Peace be upon you. Assalamu alaikum. And finally, until our next meeting. Ila alaka. You'll get a score. Try and play it several times. Keep track of your score and try and get it faster and faster each time. Okay, well, that will do it for today's class, and I'll see you all on Saturday, inshallah.